The second law of thermodynamics is like your room's tendency to become a mess over time. No matter how much you try to keep it tidy, it naturally tends to disorder. It's the universe's way of saying, why bother cleaning? Equation, delta S is greater than or equal to zero. This law states that the total entropy or disorder of an isolated system can never decrease over time, indicating that processes are irreversible and systems naturally progress towards disorder. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is like trying to pinpoint your exact location and speed after a wild night out. The more precisely you try to remember one, the less certain you are about the other. It's the quantum version of the morning after confusion. Equation, delta x times delta p is greater than or equal to h-bar over 2. This principle highlights a fundamental limit in quantum mechanics. The more precisely you know an object's position, dx, the less precisely you can know its momentum, dp, and vice versa. Ohm's law in electricity is like your morning coffee routine. Voltage is your desperate need for caffeine. Current is the actual coffee flowing into your cup. And resistance is like that barista who takes forever to make your espresso. The slower the barista, the longer you wait for your much needed caffeine boost. Equation V equals I multiplied by R. Einstein's theory of relativity is like realizing that time flies when you're having fun. But if you're sitting in a boring lecture, each minute feels like an hour. It's like the clock is in on the conspiracy to make your class feel longer. Equation and explanation E equals M multiplied by C squared applied by CE. Shower water temperature follows Einstein's theory of relativity. Time slows down when waiting for it to get warm and speeds up once you're enjoying the hot water. Waiting at a red traffic light puts you in a state of suspended animation. Time seems to slow down, stretching seconds into what feels like hours in a mini temporal vacuum. Your bed in the morning has anti-gravity properties. The pull to stay under the covers is so strong it rivals the gravitational force of a small planet. In cooking, the butterfly effect is real. Change one ingredient, and the entire dish transforms. It's a deliciously unpredictable chaos theory experiment. Weekends behave like black holes in our temporal universe. Time accelerates as you approach Friday and before you know it, it's Monday again. A cat's ability to step on your keyboard and open 15 different programs at once is like a quantum computing breakthrough. They somehow access multiple states of digital chaos simultaneously. Grocery shopping without a list is a classic example of the decoy effect. You go in for three items and leave with 20, none of which are what you originally intended to buy. Procrastination is like a Mobius strip, a one-sided surface with no beginning or end. You start doing something productive, only to find yourself back where you started, doing nothing at all. Approaching bedtime is like nearing an event horizon. The closer you get, the more time seems to stretch, and the harder it is to break away from the gravitational pull of your phone or book. Searching for a lost TV remote.
triangle. Pens, paper clips, and small gadgets disappear, only to reappear in bizarre locations under completely unexplainable circumstances. Leaving chocolate unattended is a study in spontaneous disappearance. Scientists believe it could be a new form of matter annihilation, or maybe your friends just can't resist chocolate. Watching a cat misjudge a jump is a practical demonstration of projectile motion gone wrong. Initial velocity, ambitious. Trajectory, miscalculated. Landing, nine lives worth of embarrassment. Socks disappearing in the dryer is like a lesson in quantum mechanics. They're there, then they're not. It's Schrodinger's laundry. Spilling coffee while walking is a study in fluid dynamics and human coordination, or the lack thereof. The more you try not to spill, the more you realize it's an inevitable part of the coffee walk continuum. Carrying groceries in one trip is a practical example of load optimization. It's a delicate balance between hand strength, bag capacity, and sheer willpower. When an escalator suddenly stops, it's like an instant lesson in inertia. One moment you're moving, the next you're a living example of Newton's first law. Burning toast is a kitchen experiment in chemical reactions. It's the fine line between deliciously toasted and a carbonized disaster. Finding the perfect spot for Wi-Fi signal at home is like a practical lesson in wave propagation. It's a mysterious dance around corners and through walls where the laws of physics seem to bend. The phenomenon of always finding one mismatched sock after laundry is a lesson in probability theory. The odds are never in your favor. Watching a blender create a vortex is like observing a mini black hole in your kitchen. It's mesmerizing, powerful, and slightly terrifying when it comes to cleaning up. Being in rush hour traffic is like being part of a fluid dynamics simulation. You're a particle in a flow that's both chaotic and painfully slow. Time's relativity becomes evident when doing homework. One hour of gaming feels like minutes, but one hour of studying feels like an eternity. Walking on a polished floor in socks is a risky venture in friction, or the lack thereof. It's all fun and games until momentum meets gravity. Rubbing a balloon on your hair is like a basic lesson in electrostatics. It's all about charge transfer with the added bonus of a new electrifying hairstyle. Watching a pot of water boil for spaghetti is a lesson in time perception. It's a real-world example of the saying, a watched pot never boils. Quantum mechanics suggests it might never boil if you don't stop watching. The mystery of tangled headphones in your pocket is like a study in knot theory. No matter how neatly you store them, they become a Gordian knot, defying the laws of physics. The surprise ice patch slide, slipping on ice, when you suddenly become a physics experiment in momentum, acceleration and path, where the ground wins every time. The unbalanced laundry load, a washing machine with an unbalanced load is like a dance party gone wrong. It's all fun and games until the entire machine starts to cha-cha across the floor. The lost in thought walk, walking into a room and forgetting why, that's not forgetfulness, it's your body having more momentum than your brain. The pancake flip misadventure, flipping a pancake and having it stick to the ceiling, that's not a cooking mistake, that's an overestimation of pancake momentum and a new wall decoration. The beginner's yoga class, doing yoga for the first time is like trying to understand non-linear dynamics. You start off balanced, XC, and end up in a position that defies all laws of motion. The unpredictable grocery cart. Pushing a grocery cart with a wobbly wheel is like trying to solve a chaotic system. It's supposed to be uniform motion, but it's more like a random walk theory with snacks. The dozing off student. Falling asleep in physics class is like demonstrating uniformly accelerated motion in action. One minute you're fighting gravity, the next, you're accelerating towards your desk at 9.8 ms2. The Midnight Fridge Raid Sneaking to the fridge at night is uniform motion with a twist. The distance X always feels longer on the way back, especially when trying to avoid squeaky floorboards. The Recipe for Disaster Following a new recipe is like trying to understand uniform motion without the formula. In the end the kitchen's a mess, and I'm ordering pizza. A dog's accelerated chase. Watching my dog chase a squirrel is the best example of uniformly accelerated motion, starts at zero, ends with a face plant, and acceleration is entirely squirrel dependent. Uniform motion coordination. Trying to calculate my walking speed to the fridge at midnight using the uniform motion formula. Turns out the only constant is my desire for a midnight snack. The snail's journey. Calculating a snail's journey to the garden using the uniform motion formula. The result? It'll get there by next spring, just in time to ruin my tomatoes. The gravity of bedtime. Dropping your phone on your face while in bed is a painful lesson in gravity. It's also proof that smartphones are attracted to faces in direct proportion to how tired you are. Average speed of variable motion. Picture trying to walk through a crowded bar on a Friday night. 
One moment you're smoothly weaving through, the next you're stuck behind a group taking selfies. Your speed varies from excuse me to I guess I live here now. It's the human version of the average speed of variable motion with more spilled drinks. Packing for a trip is like trying to solve a three-dimensional Tetris game where the backpack seems to defy the laws of physics by fitting an impossible amount of stuff. Looking for a light switch in the dark is like trying to find a portal to a parallel universe. It's always in the last place you'd expect and when you find it, it's like a revelation. Searching for your glasses when they're on your head is like experiencing a personal teleportation mystery. They become invisible when worn, only to teleport back into visibility when you stop looking for them. Adjusting the shower temperature is like observing a quantum state. The water can be simultaneously too hot and too cold until you step into the stream, collapsing the state into just right or, I've made a terrible mistake. Scrolling through social media is like experiencing time dilation. You think it's been five minutes but, in the real world, hours have passed. It's the closest we've come to a wormhole. Waiting for food in the microwave is a relative time distortion field. One minute on the clock is equal to at least five minutes of human impatience. Cats always landing on their feet is due to their personal gravity field. It's a feline superpower that defies the normal rules of physics as we know them. The theory that your room will eventually clean itself if left alone long enough is a hopeful hypothesis in chaos theory. Spoiler, it never works. A single load of laundry taking an eternity to finish is like having an everlasting gobstopper. It just keeps going and going and you start to wonder if it's a magical artifact. Hearing an old song and being instantly transported back in time is a form of auditory time travel. It's a quantum leap through your memories powered by melody and nostalgia. Venturing to the back of the refrigerator is like exploring uncharted territory. You might find new life forms, mold, forgotten civilizations, leftovers, and the occasional black hole, spilled sauce. Trying to pick the right key for a lock is like being stuck in a programming loop. Each wrong key increases the frustration variable, and the loop only ends when you find the break command, the correct key. The law of toast gravity states that toast will always land butter side down. It's Murphy's law meeting kitchen physics with a side of carpet fluff.